So guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll cover another amazing lab that is validate data in Google Sheets. So first of all, click on Start Lab and open Sheets in Incognito window. Now, if you are new to this channel, like the video and subscribe the channel. So if you are asked for username and password, check the lab instruction for it. Now basically, it is getting signed into automatic. Now here on task number one, you have to open it in Incognito window. So basically. In this sheet, we have to perform some steps. So first of all, you need to copy the sheet. So first of all, click on make a copy. File, then make a copy. Make a copy. Finally, the sheet will be ready. Here we have to do some manual task and some task which I will do for you. So first of all, you need to click on item sheet. Finally, we are in the sheet. Now from here, you have to do one thing, click on got it and then view, freeze and freeze the first row. So finally, the first row have been frozen. Wait a minute. So from here, now it's time to short, short from A to Z. Just follow the way I'm doing in the video. Now here, the data has been sorted. Now here we will go to the lab instructions and we will have to create a new sheet. So for that just copy the name from here and from plus icon a new sheet will be added. So you have to just rename any sheet. So just enter the name here make sure there is no extra space. Now you have to copy the formula from here and paste on a shell. So it will create a copy of the data which we just created right now so now when you hit check my progress you'll get the score without any issue now for task number two you have to filter the data that is we have to create a filter and then filter view to so go back to the this item sheet click anywhere now finally we have to create a filter so for that go to data and from here click on create filter so this will add a filter but we have to add a filter on a shell so for that again remove the filter and then click on create filter so this is the way we have to create a filter now from filter we have to remove the cinnamon bun so first of all click on it and then first of all, we have done this remove the cinnamon bun that is uncheck it so we are done with this filter we will get the score for first filter and the second part is creating a filter view so for that you have to remove this filter so if you are unable to remove this filter you can just ignore it you have to just follow the way i am clicking click here and then we will create a filter view so for creating the filter view we have to again go to the data so let me show you how you will do click on data then click on create filter view so finally a filter view will be added so here we have to do the same thing that is we have to remove the cinnamon bun so for that click on the item name on the filter view let me show you how we will do so once you have created a filter you have to click on this icon filter icon and scroll down and remove the cinnamon bun so finally you will be done but you will face one error what error you will face you won't get score because you haven't saved the filter so you have to save the filter you can use any name let it default and then click on save so finally the filter has been saved and now you will get the score without any issue and remaining tasks are very easy basically we have to import one sheet and i've shared the sheet so let me show you how you will import the sheet for these tasks first of all click anywhere you can delete the view first of all let's delete the view so i will show you this is the file which you have to download onto your local system which you will be using there in this lab so first of all let me show you how we'll remove the filter so if you want you can import directly or if you want to remove let's delete the filter click on data view option and just delete view so the view will be deleted now from here file click on file and then click on import and here click on upload now make sure to follow the way i am doing otherwise you may face issue 
that is you may miss some steps so after this very important step is there you have to click on replace spreadsheet and then continue now we'll hit check my progress and we'll get the score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this swap first of all if you're new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel and thank you guys have a great day